Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild with a very interesting challenge that we've never attempted here on the channel. In fact, I, this is my first time using ChatGPT, so it's going to be interesting. We're going to let ChatGPT decide our hunt from the map we hunt on to the species we go after to maybe even the weapons that we use. So let's get straight into it with our very first uh, question that I have prepared, and that is choose a random DLC map for me to hunt on in the Hunter Call of the Wild. So let's see what it ends up giving us. Hopefully it'll be one of the good maps that I really enjoy. I'm hoping for Emerald Coast, but uh, let's see what we end up getting. Layton Lake District. Okay, not a DLC map. But I suppose it chose Layton, so that's what we're going to do. Now, let's see what else we can do. Choose a species for me to hunt on Layton Lake District in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Let's uh, correct that little spelling mistake, and off we go. What does it want me to hunt? We are going to go after... Wow, the elk, okay, so it says Rocky Mountain Elk, it's clearly Roosevelt Elk that are on Leighton Lake, but I mean, still it shows elk, so, so far so good, it's actually working, I, I didn't think that it would work this well, I did a quick little test of it just to make sure that it knew what the game was, and it was able to at least identify the game, but I was curious if it, if it would be able to like identify the different maps and animals and stuff, and so far so good. Okay, let's see if this prompt will work. What four DLC rifles should I use to hunt with on the game The Hunter Call of the Wild? Let's see if it'll give us four weapons that are actually DLC. 300 drilling rifle. Uh, well, uh, it looks like it's choosing some stuff from The Hunter Classic as well. Um... Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, it's pretty clear it wants me to use the drilling rifle. Then we've got the 30 aught 6 lever action. That's from Classic, so I'm going to assume it means 30-30 lever action. Then we got the 270 bolt action and the 338 bolt action. Okay, so honestly, that's a solid lineup. I think we can work with that. We won't have a 22, unfortunately, but I mean, we're primarily going for elk anyway, so... That's not going to be too big of a massive problem, I think. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We're going for elk on Leighton Lakes with, it seems, the 300, 338, 270, and 3030. Okay, so we got the setup going. We uh, managed to get into a multiplayer server on Leighton that is at elk time, 652. So we don't have a lot of time left, but it's enough time to hunt around. We've got the 270 here. Uh, we've also got the drilling rifle. I misspoke earlier and said 300, but it's actually the drilling rifle that it wanted. I just, for some reason, thought that it was 300 caliber, so, you know, it is what it is. But we're going to use it with the bird shot primarily because I can't fit the scope with all the heavy guns it gave me. Uh, we've also got the 338, and then we've got ourselves the 3030. Honestly, we can cover every single animal class with this, but we're going to be focusing on elk, so it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. Oh, wow. Um... So, that is definitely not a elk, but we do have a couple of good blacktail coming through. I mean, we do have a 270 on us. We might as well shoot it since it's here. In fact, let's get both of them. And then we're going to continue on and look for those uh, elk and see if we can find some, but might as well take these out if they're on the way. I am sorry, little rabbit, but you're along the way as well. Well, there's one of our blacktail deer. Let's see if this is a decent one. 145 is not a bad buck. That is a solid gold. Uh, this is the rack that has some scoring issues, though, because there's no way overall spread is uh, 4.41. I hope one of these days they fix this. In fact, I'll probably screenshot this and send it to the developers, and hopefully it'll uh, get taken care of, because it's odd that it scores so low. And now this is, I believe, the bigger of the two. Yeah, I think so. 145. I think they were both 145 to be honest, but either way, a couple nice bucks to start the day, but not the elk we're after. There we are. There we go. We finally got elk 238 meters away. Definitely not big elk, but I mean, it's still elk. We haven't seen any of them until now, so I will just go ahead and take the biggest one here. I think that guy is him. And once we... Make it around this entire river. We'll uh, we'll finally get to claim him. And that uh, might be a while. Yeah, it might be a while before we get to see exactly what this guy scores and where we hit him. Oh, we got some more. 
We've got some more elk. Yeah, that is definitely better than the last one, but still not crazy good. Oh, actually, that looks a lot better right there. That's probably a big level four if I were to take a guess. Yeah, that definitely looks like a big four. Well, I suppose we'll get close and try to take him down. Okay, so I may have ran up a little bit too quickly and I made him go alert. I don't know if he's going to spook off. I don't know if he's going to give us a shot. Uh, we also have that one right there, which isn't a bad one. But this guy's much better. I don't have a 22, so I can't do the 22 trick. We're kind of just stuck with having to spook him a little bit and get him alerted. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's actually fully alarmed now because of the wind. That's not good, but maybe we can actually get a shot into him now. Yeah, I think we... Yeah, we got vitals. Let's go. That's going to be a really good bull to get down, actually. These level fours look so nice. Happy we could get one pretty early. Now, the one problem I'm running into now is after taking down this big bull right here, the question is, do I really want to go back and grab that small level three? Not really. So I think we're going to go ahead and leave the level three and just continue on our hunt and look for more like this guy. 338, of course, doing its job, getting right into that single lung from the front. Definitely performing how we would expect it to, and that's a solid bull. There we have a couple more Roosevelt elk over there, and I think at this point in the video, let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these chat GPT chooses my hunt type of videos, because this is actually surprisingly gone pretty well. I've really enjoyed this, and I think we could definitely get some crazy hunts in the future if we keep this series up. And also, if you're enjoying the content and you're still watching at this point, consider subscribing as it is a massive help to myself and the channel. And there we are after a very long trek. We've finally made it to the two small Roosevelt elk. We've got ourselves a level three right here that we did get a nice double lung on. 268 on the score. And then over here should be an even smaller one. Yeah, this guy is not exactly huge, but you know what? It is what it is. It's an elk. We've got uh, three elk down on the day. Well, four, but we, we don't talk about the first one. Oh my gosh, yes. It's not a male. But that right there is a rare. We've got ourselves a piebald Roosevelt elk. Chat GPT coming in clutch, leading us to a piebald. That is amazing. That is the last thing I expected to find. But you know what? That is just absolutely perfect. I was scared that this challenge would not work out. I didn't think Chat GPT would actually come up with a good hunt, but it did. It actually came up with a good hunt, and we've got a rare in front of us. I've also got a few more males over there. They're kind of wonky and weird looking, especially, uh, Especially that guy right there. Definitely some interesting elk, but I'm a little bit more concerned about this beauty right here. That is absolutely awesome. So I think the only right thing to do is just get her down real quick once she lifts up her head. In fact, right now should be good. That is going to be a rare Roosevelt elk. And down she goes. Taking a quick swim before she dies. I guess she wanted to feel the water one more time. Oh, oh. I for sure missed that. <laughs> that is a monster bull. I mean, I don't think fours can be diamond, but that guy's definitely not too shabby. That is a solid bull elk up there. If he stops, we'll take a shot on him, I guess. There we go. There's that beautiful piebald Roosevelt elk. It is just a female, but it's been a long time since I've found a rare Roosevelt, so that is really cool. Chat GPT coming in clutch with the suggestion leading us to this beauty right here you love to see it you know i feel like the roosevelt elk rares really don't get enough love you don't see too many people talking about them or posting them or even hunting for them but they honestly look great especially if you can get a big bull then it looks incredible unfortunately i don't know where that giant elk has gone i don't think we're going to be able to find him again because he just kept going even after he stopped being spooked so most likely we're out of luck here but there is another bull right there i think if i shoot this bear it should make the elk turn maybe yeah that actually worked out quite well uh-oh uh-oh get attacked by bears over here <laughs> that came out of nowhere I heard the very light pitter-pattering of those feet, and my first thought for some reason 
was that there was a rabbit going up to me. That is definitely not a rabbit. I can confirm now. That is much larger than a rabbit. And yeah, it's probably more bears in just a couple seconds than I've killed in the last like two weeks. So progress, I guess. And there is our Roosevelt Elk. Let's take a look at this guy. 275 is not bad for a level three. Even though it's not the giant we were looking for, it's still a gold. So moving up in the world. And we are on a new server and already finding ourselves some Roosevelt Elk. This time, some pretty decent bulls right out in the open. I think we'll easily be able to kill one of those. Uh, I do want to check the rest of the lake, though, as there's usually more than just one group here. And it also seems like we've got other animals moving in. Yeah, I was right. There is some that are even closer. Uh, none of them are giants, though. So I think we're probably good to just take down some of the other ones. Though we keep seeing more and more, so maybe I should get up a little closer before I start shooting. Definitely could be more around the lake. Okay, these guys are starting to notice that something is a little bit off in the area. So let's wait till this one turns and take a shot into it. I think this is our best one. It is the only level four, so best chance of being a decent scoring one. We spooked off a couple of them as I tried to get this guy to go alert, but... That's okay, because we only care about this bull right here. It does look like he knows we're here now, or at least he's starting to realize that we're here, so we just need to get him to go alert. And just like that, boom, he is down. Wow, we insta-dropped him. I'm curious what we hit. Was that a spine shot? It might have been a spine shot. I mean, it's vital, so it definitely wasn't just spine. In fact, it was spine and lung. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. We took that thing down so quickly. 296 on the score as well, so small gold, but still a gold. This poor rake and uh, ace, they they just keep joining and they keep getting disconnected. It's unfortunate that Call of the Wild has some major issues with staying connected to multiplayer servers because you see a lot of situations like this and I run into them quite regularly where I just cannot stay connected to a server. But uh, it is what it is. Nothing you can really do about it. And sadly, the game runs off of peer-to-peer, -peer, which means it's all based on the connections of the other players that are in that session. If one person has a bad connection, it screws up everything in most cases. So, it's unfortunate and probably unavoidable unless they one day decide to get dedicated servers for the game. Oh my gosh, no way! We got a piebald blacktail deer! I mean, it's not the target species, but that is sick! That is absolutely sick. Now, it's very likely that this thing is going to run straight up on us. So we got to be really careful that we don't accidentally spook it. Because I have no idea if it's just going to continue running or if it's actually going to stop and kind of slow down and give us a chance to take it out. We got to be extra, extra careful. Making sure that we don't make too much noise. Because the last thing that I want to do is have to chase this thing around for like 30 minutes. Where is this thing? Um, I've completely lost sight of it. Okay, we've got other blacktail deer here as well. I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that this is very close to a zone. So they're probably going to come back. I think we might just want to hunker down in one of these bushes and wait for it to come over here. I definitely think that might be a viable option, and it's honestly kind of rare that I'll even do that. Normally, I just chase them till they're out in the open, but I think in this situation, this might actually be better. Oh my gosh, they're so close. We got a regular buck there. We got a doe. We got another doe. Another buck, but no piebald. Oh my gosh, you are close, man. Where's our piebald? I don't see a piebald anywhere. Uh, that's a little concerning. There he is. That's him. That's him right there. He's going down. Let's go. Oh my gosh, that took a while, but... That was well worth it. We just got ourselves a piebald blacktail deer. It has been ages since I've seen one of these as well. And just like that, chat GPT has got us two rares that I haven't seen in months. 
And just like that, a lawnmower starts up outside my house. I don't know if you guys heard that. Hopefully not. Hopefully it didn't bleed through into the audio, but either way, that is awesome. We got ourselves a piebald blacktail deer. Just a small three, but still a really cool trophy to find. And it was all because Chad GPT told us to hunt elk on Leighton Lake. So that is amazing. That is really, really amazing. Now the question is, is this the last thing we'll find today? Well, actually, yes, yes it is because this is the end of the video, but thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, again, leave a like and leave a comment as well as both those are massively helpful to the channel. And let me know if you guys want to see more chat GPT chooses our hunts type of content in the future. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.